Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chamber Chat Program. We're so glad to be here on this cold February morning. Beautiful day in February. <laughs> Beautiful day. Hey, it's one day it's 76 right. degrees, the next day it's That's snowing. Right. We welcome never know. to Tennessee, right? <laughs> hey, so my co-host this morning is Brother Chad Ramsey. He's from the Smithville First Baptist Church, but he's also on the Chamber Board of Directors. Welcome. I am. We're excited to be here. Excited to be here. So, yeah. yeah, he's one of those that I can call at 9 o'clock at night and say, guess what? You get to co-host tomorrow. You're up. You're up. Yeah, you're coming out of the bullpen. We so. appreciate it. So, you know, Brother Chad, every year, uh, this is always a bittersweet for me because, you know, number one, we're, we're excited to have our new chamber board members. Yes. But you know me, I get so attached to the other ones. Yes. So, um, you know, I'm excited and I'm sad at the same time. I think you call that A little mixed emotion. Yeah, right? a little yeah. mixed emotion. But I can still see these people. I just don't see them as often. Yes. But one of our retirees from the chamber board is Kathy Hendrickson from the Justin Potter Library. And normally she would be here, but she's she's under the weather. From retiring from the chamber, from the not, chamber the board, not the library. Not the library. Oh, golly, no. Yeah. She'll be there. We won't let her retire ever. Yeah. This, she'll is be how, there. this is how rumors get started. She'll right? be like 100 years old That's and right. she'll be uh, still <laughs> at the library because we won't let her go. That's right. And then um, Jenna Reynolds, mm -hmm. she's now with 911, but when she was on the chamber board, she was with Star Manufacturing. Yep. We yep. would have taken her either way. Either way. Either and way. And then Cynthia Agee, she actually retired a little early because she retired from Wilson Bank and Trust. Yes. Yes, she re retired, retired. She's really retired to yes. that. Is, yes. That's, that's a true statement. So uh, taking her place now from Wilson Bank Trust is Kayla Donnell. We love Kayla yes. already. We've yeah. known her a long time. So anyway, best of uh, wishes to Cynthia and her retirement. And uh, welcome, Kayla. Yeah, we got all these new members now. We're excited about them. Yeah. Well, do you want to hear who they are? Let's, let's. You, you probably already yes. know. So, Brian Campbell, he's with Dogwood Creations. Okay. Uh, Julie David, everybody knows her. Yes. Well, they know the goats, I'm sure. Harmony Lane Farm <laughs> and Creamery. You girls had me and you got to go. Goats, you can cuddle. Yep. And Jennifer Sykes with Infinity Athletics. She's amazing. She is. My daughter goes there every week. Oh, so, my goodness. Yes. My granddaughter's too. And Ryan Vaden with NHC Healthcare. Yeah, awesome guy. He, awesome is, guy. he is an awesome guy. And I want to say thank you quickly. I know we've got this is just stuff I've got to do because I love these people. I want to say so many thanks to our 2021 executive board, which uh, Jen Sherwood served uh, as a wonderful president. The vice president was Billy, Billy Davis. She's with Canoe the Caney. Yes, yes. Kathy Hendrickson, always with Justin Potter Library, was the secretary. No, no, no. She treasurer. was the treasurer. Yes. That's right. I knew that. Yeah, because you made me the treasurer now. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> I'm thinking a, pre you know, a preacher could be a treasurer. That's, That's right. A good At least and, you really want the vessel. <laughs> well, we hope. We hope. So. <laughs> and then the, real, the secretary was April Martin. And then our pa we always have the past president serves on the executive board, and that was Lisa Cripps. Yes. I love Lisa Cripps. I don't have to cry over that. She's my next door neighbor at my chamber office. You can see her a lot. I see her every day, just about. So I love her. And then here's our new executive board. The president is Billy Davis. The vice president is April Martin. The treasurer is... Da 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 da. There we Ramsey. go. And the secretary is Sabrina Carruthers, and her past president, of course, Jen Sherwood. So, big group of wonderful people that I love. Excited for a new year and a good year. Yeah. So there we go. Congratulations. For, for you people who have, you know, boards that scare you, I'm so sorry because I have the best boards always. <laughs> we have a good board. We, <laughs> we got do. a good board. They're, they're awesome. So talk about awesome. We got some new chamber members, ah. new businesses in town, and uh, first we're going to talk to the High Water Title Group here, which I've got with me uh, Jamie Averwater, right? She's one of the owners yes. and an attorney. Yes. And we've got Jade Richardson, and she works there at the office. You're the man, office manager. Smithville office manager. The Smithville yeah. office manager. And you know, I was thinking this morning on the way in. So originally, Jim Hyde was coming in. He's also a co-owner, right? Yes, that's correct. So I got to thinking because, you know, my He's brother, the high in high water, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I get it. I, got, I get it. Oh, you beat me to yeah. that much. Yep. Yes. So Jim Hyde, the first two letters of his last name and the last part of your name. That's high water. correct. There you go. So when you're thinking high water, it's H-Y. That yes. is W-A-T-E-R. Yes. There you go. Yes. There you go. I thought it was Ingenious. So, Ingenious. I thought it was smart. Now, you already figured it out. I smell it every time. Okay. 
<laughs> and uh, trademark pending on that. Oh, that's right. That's right. Gotcha. Okay, so they're I'm sure located. there's a lot of people going after that. <laughs> they're going. <so>. After that. <laughs> that's what we'd like to avoid. <laughs> She's an attorney. She's got that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so they're located at 412 South College Street in Smithfield. Now there's been a couple of businesses there, but before y'all, let's see. That's where Stella Luna Art Gallery was. Right. And so. Then, it, Town and Lake Realty before that. Yeah, and then now they're here to stay. Yeah, Boom. yes. It's a it's a lovely place there. So that's just to give you an idea where it is, at 412 South College Street, Smithfield, right at the top of the bridge. So um, tell us a little bit about High Water. Well, I'll tell you a funny story. The name High Water is actually a, a nod to Gemini's families. Oh. So our dads were fraternity brothers and best friends growing up yeah. and that's how Jim and I became acquainted and then went to college together and in the past few years we became closer and decided to start a title company together. There wow, you go. Well, that's wow. a way to and do it. We're really grateful for the opportunity. As, as you mentioned, I'm a lawyer, but don't hold that against me. <laughs> um, I do not litigate. I realized very quickly in law school that I loved real estate and transactional law, and I loved title and being at the closing table. And Jim has vast knowledge in commercial and residential real estate. So we joined forces, uh, joined our teams together, and there you came go. up with High Water Title. And trademark really is pending, by the way, so don't, don't try to rip off my name now. Yeah. Um, ironically, there's a High Water Concrete Company in Canada, spelled the ah, exact same. So. I think I found that when I was looking yeah. up your address. Yeah. 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 Like, Did you open in Canada? I'm like, yeah. definitely yeah. not, yeah. definitely not. Um, so our main location is actually in Rutherford County in Murfreesboro. Uh, we love it there, and thankfully, we've been able to branch out and come to DeKalb County in mm -hmm. Smithville. We bought the building last year. Everyone has been so gracious and well, so if you ever want to go international canada is open so. I, 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 I'll, consider yeah. it. I'll consider you should, it i'll consider it um maybe somewhere with a beach though you know, a little bit warmer. Canada seems a little cold it's a little, yeah, a little cold for there's us. beaches there it's just really cold <laughs> right cold beach that's right that's right well jay here came on uh we we stole her away from a big important job after many many years uh, to to stay do something a little bit more local i guess and she came on bless her heart as a pre-processor and then flash forward a year and she she manages an office for us and That's soon great. to be multiple offices for us. So we're very grateful for Jade and everything that she's done. Um, she's a local to the area and loves it here. She's introduced me to all of the restaurants and a new restaurant, hopefully. <laughs> we're headed there. Yeah, we're headed there after this. Um, I, you'll find me in the coffee shop very regularly, and uh, I love it here. So thanks for having us, and uh, we hope we'll see you at the closing table. Jade, do you have anything to add? Nope. Like she said, um, I was born and raised here in Smithfield, so... Um, like my great grandfather was uh, the Ed Poss, which was the soup man. I don't know if oh, remembers he that. was my neighbor. Ah. I lived on Evans Mill. Did you? Second house on the right. Yeah. yeah. So that was my family. Yeah. Um, and I worked in Nashville for 11 years and just wanted to come back and be local and be part of the community. And so here we are. We're, we're here making we are. it happen. Here we're here we go. You guys. So we're really thankful for this. Mr. Community. Ed Poss. <laughs> You're not from here. You didn't I'm get not. My... I'm an outsider. So, so. he had. <laughs> this shop behind his house. Okay. You could go, I mean, it just had all kinds of clothes and things. And, and this man, now see, I, j I lived at the second house on the right, and he was just walking distance up the road. And he would let me go up there and ride his horses. He had a couple of horses. Yep, yep. we used to have horses yeah. and have horse shows. I, I grew up riding horses every uh, day out here, so. He's the sweetest man, mm -hmm. really, on the planet, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm so glad to know that connection. So glad to have yeah. High Water Title here. You guys are just the nicest. And we look forward to having a ribbon cutting. Is that coming up tomorrow? Tomorrow. At 2 o'clock. That's February 3rd, because we're going to be filmed, and that may be. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I love, I love that. Yep, to our February 3rd, we've got catering coming and gifts to hand out and uh, our our uh, motto at High Water is to celebrate everything. So we'll be celebrating really hard tomorrow. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds like a chamber. Sounds slogan. like a party. Yeah. We celebrate everything. Yeah. There you go. And uh, then all of our catering and things, we try to keep it all local as well. So the food is coming in local. Um, we have sweets coming in from uh, Sweets B, uh, Samantha. Uh, so she's doing like macarons and things like that. Ooh. So we have. Oh, I uh, love macarons. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah. So we'll have all that stuff catered locally too. And we have some cups and different things like that. We try to keep it all local. Oh, thank you all so much for being here. We look forward to being with you tomorrow. And uh, just uh, most success. We wish you the most success in your business. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Oh, thank you. Time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah. And speaking of local food, uh -huh. what a transition that is where we get to talk about some uh, Cheryl's 
Bo Bees. Is that, I'm, I'm saying that totally you right. Okay, good. Right. Good. Yep. Yeah. So tell us about uh, your the new place. I've well, I've been there. You've been there. I've been there. Yeah. What a and you place. guys are coming. Yeah, and they're coming. So <laughs> yeah. so tell us about your place. So we're. Um, local um we've been here for about 20 years we came from texas um but we love it here and you couldn't drag us away <laughs> um we're a gift shop and we also have a lunch counter we serve um, soup salad sandwiches and every once in a while we serve a special a day mm. um, we have a lot of different special sandwiches right now we're having the pulled pork sandwich that i made myself Good and stuff we have um, a meatball sandwich hey. and hand cut fries every day. And let us not forget the roast beef sandwich that's my favorite so far. Who knows, I hadn't tried everything. Yeah. And she said hand cut <laughs> oh fries. Oh my goodness. Not, not like just cheap frozen fries, uh -uh. hand no, cut hand fries. Hand cut, we hand cut them every single morning. With all of our food, it's all fresh. We, tr we also try to stay as local as we can. Um, when the farmer's market's out, we'll get our produce from there. Um, one of the best salads I've had in town we, by far. We cut all of our uh, produce every morning. Mm -hmm. um, everything is fresh. Yeah. Okay, so Cheryl, you also have, like, what, when you got shopping, mm -hmm. but you try to use local artists. We, we have um, booths that we have local artists in, and then I'm also a local crafter. I wouldn't say I'm an artist, but I make jewelry, and I repurpose furniture, and I have a lot of bee crafts because it's bow bee. bees. Yes, yeah. bees. <laughs> But, um, and also our roast, roast beef has a special sauce on it oh. that I also make myself. Yeah. I could tell it was a special sauce. Let me tell you, I was near tears, Brother Chad. You know, <laughs> good food makes me cry. Yes. I mean, in a good way. It was really good. Really, really good. So. Uh, mac and cheese, too. We have mac and cheese every single day, and I make it fresh every morning. Uh, you, you all have uh, some uh, specials for Valentine's Day coming up. Is that we right? We do. We're going to have, we're going to be open uh, Friday, Saturday, and Monday night. We have two seats. Meetings, six and eight and we'll have a set menu um, we're gonna have stuffed um, pork chops and salmon patties there you go and then um, we'll have a three-course meal we'll have salad and then the entree and vegetables and then we'll have a special dessert there you go so they need reservations though. reservations yeah if you'll just call us um, 615-215-2328 Oh, and everybody's always said on Facebook, make sure you put the address. Where are you located? 108 West Walnut Street. That's so easy to find. It's in downtown Smithfield. It's on the west side of the square. Yes, Across yes. from Vintage Owl, next door to the, the Purple, purple, the purple door. door. And, you know, Ace's Steak's coming pretty soon, which will be next yep. door to you. That'll so that'll be, be nice to have restaurant. another yeah. place to eat. So we've just got so much going yeah. on around Smithfield. We're so excited. Booming. We're booming. We're booming, as they say. I think we have another store coming in, too, next to the Purple Door pretty soon. Well, that is great. great news. I can't Good wait stuff. to see that. And it's just, uh, it's nice to see nice, healthy growth, you know? And yes. I love it. And we love nice people like you, Cheryl. Oh, and your whole so family. Sweet. Her whole family I fell in love with. <laughs> I think at the ribbon cutting, they couldn't get me out the door. I was there, what, two hours? <laughs> we really had a fun time. That's that stuff. was very fun. Both my daughters work there. My mother's there. She runs around talking to people and picking up um, dishes and getting drinks when she needs to and my husband's are all around man he does uh, maintenance he true cooks, family he business he builds, yes. he builds. Yes. I mean, he's pretty it looks guy. amazing in there they've yeah. done a fantastic job yeah, oh, yeah. we worked really really hard and um, our contractor Juan he was fabulous I had a vision and I said can we do this and he never said no he always said oh. yes there we go but it might cost you yeah. <laughs> 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 but we're so glad you came and put this fabulous new business in downtown. And we'll just, anytime you have anything special going on, let us know. We'll have you back on the show. All there right. Fabulous. I would really like it. I yeah. Thanks, Cheryl. Yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you. Okay, what have we got now? Oh, we, I wanted to mention just a couple of other All right, new go businesses. All right, for it. Well, I was hoping to get Brian Campbell on this morning. He's with Dogwood Creations. He's new to our chamber board. He's in uh, Alexandria. Okay. But if you want to buy something from him, it's not a storefront. You go to Dogwood Creations TN. Dot com. I've already been shopping on there. Make sure you put that T in there. Yeah, so. put the T in in there. And you can also find him at a lot of events and festivals mm -hmm. and stuff. So he's all over the place. But he has some great products. The two shirts I got there are two of my favorites. And then, oh, I'm excited about this. New owners at Galaxy Ford. Yes, that's new, well, new everything. New, over there. new owners at the Ford place. It's now Galaxy Ford. Yes. 
and pretty same soon, location. Yeah, same location. And we'll have uh, Dave Fitzpatrick on here pretty soon to talk about it. We're going to be having a ribbon cutting soon. They've joined the chamber. Just so excited about having them. And then I was hoping, too, to get, uh, they've been so busy over at 620 Pelham, which is also known as uh, Omega USA. Appreciate them joining the chamber. Yeah. And they're located at 215 South Mountain Street in Smithville. Larry Jones is the manager and owner there. Okay. And uh, Doris Cantrell's right-hand person there. But they've got, they've got jobs. I went over there, and that building is so clean. It is climate controlled. It is so bright. And there's an opportunity to grow, grow after 60 days. You can get paid two weeks vacation after 90 days. There's paid den dental and medical and vision and six paid holidays. Wow. And, and starting pay starts out at $12 and can go up to 18 That's so, great. That's great. Anyway, we'll have a ribbon cutting there soon. But if you need a job, They're out go there. check them out there. They're yeah. there. They're there. We've got like 200 jobs right now available They're available. in Dickstown County. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we got a barn sale coming up. Oh, good. We had Triple Creek Barn Scale. Uh, barn Scale. Barn Sale. There you go. Uh, March 12th is going to be from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And uh, if you'd like to see some info, you can go see it on Center Hill Events on their Facebook page. And that way you can allow to see some awesome things going there at the sale. So good stuff going there. You know, um, I love to go to any sale that's got barn in the title. Don't know yeah. yes. I just love it. I yeah. never am disappointed. But they're going to be located at 6595 Antioch Road, Smithfield. So that's great. Put that in your ways that's and great. find it. That's great. Uh, Brother Chad, so what's going on at First Baptist? Got anything? Well, we got a couple things going on. Uh, it's not just us. We're partnering with a couple other churches. Uh, I know one for sure. Um, we're partnering with uh, Free Will Baptist, uh, yeah. Smithville Free Will. They're working with them. They're doing a, a charity out there. Uh, just has done a great job, and they're doing a, a community uh, baby shower. So, oh. uh, so if you would like to donate some items for women who are in need, uh, single mothers, uh, families who just don't have enough to, to get through from day to day when they got new kids, I mean, it's, it's expensive child, you right. know, having kids is all that. So with that being the case, uh, you can contact charity, you can contact our church. Uh, we can find ways for you to get plugged into that. Uh, it's going to be later this month. I believe it's uh, the 25th of February. It's at the community complex. So this truly is a community event. Oh. Uh, so we're excited about that. So uh, Charity called us uh, a couple weeks ago and, and said, hey, would you like to give? Like, how about we partner? So, I love uh, it. But Charity's running it. They're doing a great job out there. So we're just excited to partner with them and a lot of other things going on. Um, you know, a lot of things getting plugged in. So uh, be safe out there and, and find ways where you can get plugged into your community. So I yeah. love that working together. That's yeah. the only way I ever get anything done. Yeah. Right now we're working on um, getting Alexandria in the Tennessee Downtowns program. And I thought, I'm never going to be able to do all the elements of this. There's no right, way. Right. And I've got uh, Gay Vanetta. She volunteered to get pictures and help me get letters. And Matt Boss has been helping me. And, and Rhea Baker's helping me get historical information. Come over here, Joe. And we're just getting all the pieces together that normally I'd have to run to Alexandria. Right, and, right. And I just appreciate the, the it's, it's amazing to have a team and a partner. And it's amazing how you can work together. And, you know, one way that gets me up and going is when I walk on over to Button Willow and oh, I get some. Oh, Joe just walked in yes, from Button Willow, yes. so that's so why we, Ted is. Uh, we have our, uh, we have several things we do. Like I get Oticulus milk, oh. I, which is oat milk. It's it's a inside joke we have with them there. <laughs> but uh, but I tell you what, if you've never had oat milk in your coffee, you know, it will change your life. So <laughs> it's good stuff. It's good stuff. So, uh, but how are you doing today, buddy? Doing good. 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 good well, yeah. we're still waiting for Tony and Luna to come in to, to do our part. So we'll wait a minute. Well, we'll Tony's do... not going to be able to show up. Oh, well, oh, okay. <laughs> so, so, we'll just keep waiting. So, so. Yeah. <laughs> we'll wait till next month. Well, let me mention a couple of things Go here. for it. Okay. <laughs> Before we get started here with Joe, which I I tell you, every time we're on the chamber chat, somebody brings up Button Willow. I mean, it's like we're addicted to the coffee. Oh it goodness. just happened, what, like five minutes yeah, ago? Yeah, somebody so. was just saying really? <laughs> Yeah. It's, it always happens, Jess. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I wanted to mention, because I'll forget this if I don't, that, um, you know, I don't know what you call these things. They're, they're brochure holders that we have at the chamber. It opens up like a little folder. Yeah. And, and I put all the demographics in here and all the brochures and for newcomers or for visitors. So, you know, I got to looking the other day and 
a lot of these businesses don't even exist anymore from when I made these. I guess I ordered like probably 500, which is a bad <laughs> idea, instead of ordering maybe at 100 at a time. But we're going to get these remade. So if you're interested, I, it's only a few spots of advertising space. You can see that's not there anymore. That one's, well, that one's there, but that one's not. Several things aren't there anymore. And, but we've only got a few spots and uh, plus the back cover. So if you're interested, I'll send an email out that let me know because maybe we've got 10 ads we can sell on this. But they last a long time. Let me tell you, I've been giving this one out for at least 10 years. You know, and I would say with all the new people moving into mm -hmm. the area, uh, I mean, I, I don't know about you all, but like in even my neighborhood, like the houses that yes. are selling and uh, not only the houses, like they're coming from, you know, New Jersey, California, Arizona, place. Florida, uh, sometimes sight unseen, uh, yeah. but they, you know, apparently they just know how awesome Smithfield is and they that's, just want to be here. That's so, what they say to me That's right. The that's right. So, but we do have so many people coming from out of state, moving to Nashville. So uh, a great way for people to find out more about our community is this way. So if you'd like to jump in on that, I think it'd be a great way for you to to get plugged into that. So, oh yeah, because yeah, I give lots of these out, believe it or not, despite the fact, I mean, I just ordered too many 10 years ago. Yeah. You know, I don't, I used, I used to get crazy and you know think, oh, 500, but no, 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 we'll do 100. Uh, so anyway, but Joe Brown is here, one of the owners of the Button Willow General Store and coffee shop and new grandfather to twin little girls. Yeah. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. You know, he's had that grandfather glow now ever since they were born. <laughs> I didn't, you know, it's not just a grandmother thing or a mother thing. Right. He's Especially the, granddaughters. Yeah. You know, oh, yes. yeah. You're done. You're toast. Even though they're only six weeks old, their first word was grandpa. Of course. <laughs> that, she only said it to me. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. We believe you totally, yes. And you may have been the only person who heard it, too. Right. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing like those grandkids, but there's also nothing like that Button Willow General <laughs> Store. And we recently gave you all a Community Improvement Award for your, oh my goodness, the inside. They have done so many things. Joe, you can tell more than I can. Thank you so much for that, by the way. Anyway, we really appreciate that recognition, and uh, we posted that on the wall with all kinds of pride. Well, it was <laughs> well-deserved. Yes, very well, much, very much. We, what we were able to do, we were planning um, for the first of the year to kind of do a little bit of a remodel in there and create some more seating, that kind of thing. And so uh, we took advantage of some bad weather there and uh, shut down for a little bit, and we created some more seating um, one of the things we did that we've always wanted to do since we owned the store uh, was to have some window seating there where you could sit there and you know look out and work on your computer or do whatever and so we finally got that done and uh, that in front of out, both windows yeah yeah that turned out really nice and um, then also we for us uh, back there in the back working we got our uh, coffee bar extended a little bit and got some more working area kind of reorganized that a little bit a little bit he means like eight feet longer yeah so, yeah it's nice yeah. It's made it's really it a lot nice more efficient and uh, so that that helps us a lot to be a, you know a lot more smooth with uh, getting the coffees out but then we did a reorganization on the store and uh, we had a stage in there and so we took that out and created a big um, kitchen section and we have our olive oils and spices and uh, ground coffee beans you can grind your own beans there uh, and peanut butter and peanut butter and almond butter we got That's our right. machines up and running and uh, boy the almond butter is my favorite I really uh. like that it's it's great but um, so we just kind of rearranged the rest of the store and made it flow a little better and easier to look at you know and shop well, in. You well, did it's a great really job. nice yeah. and it allows people to come in and, and chat I know we come over there a lot and just talk with people and hang out with people and have that community feel yeah. uh, what a amazing is that seating is that new seating is is really really nice to have there especially that bar like like you were saying if somebody wants to come and throw up a laptop up there and get yeah. some work done I actually saw a lady there uh, last week doing the same thing so yeah. it's a wonderful atmosphere we don't it's nice to have that here in Smithville and you guys have provided that for us it's well, amazing thank you yeah, I saw well, you, you had your whole family there on on the, I did on I the did decks for a while yeah. yeah we were we were having a whole time just uh, talking to some friends and just chilling out on uh, I call it the porch but yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but we had a great time yeah and it, it's, it's comfortable you know I mean you know it's, uh, you always hate it when you go places and you sit in uncomfortable chairs right, you have comfy right. chairs so. well, thank you. <laughs> well you know it's a place for all ages I mean my grandsons will say call me and they say hey you want to go to the coffee shop yes I mean how cool is that yeah. I mean it's 
it's something for everybody. And my grandson, for, for his 18th birthday, uh, his mother was going to redo a basement area for him and, um, and make it, ju it's just his space. And he said, well, can we make it look like Button Willow. Oh, like, more like a coffee shop look. Yeah. So oh. You'll have to come see it, Joe. It's fantastic, oh, even if I did do it myself. There you go. So, <laughs> it is. Oh, oh goodness. my goodness. So, uh, okay, so also, we got, um, we got some events coming up downtown. We do. A big one is yeah, exciting. It's pretty exciting. I announced this the other day at the Upper Cumberland Development District meeting I was attending, and and we're we're actually designing a new TV program for the whole Upper Cumberland, and and represent all the counties and working together. I love that. But we were. I said, you know, you don't hear this often, but. We're going to have an ice skating rink in downtown Smithfield. And they all looked at me like I'd lost my mind. <laughs> Joe, let's talk about that. All right. So it's going to be an event called Ask a Date to Skate. Oh. And uh, it's going to be on Friday, February 11th. Uh, and the Friday time is from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then Saturday uh, the 12th from 10 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. And that's uh, right before Valentine's. So that's the weekend right before Valentine's. So. Friday the 11th and Saturday the 12th. So if and you're saying what special thing can I do for my Valentine? Absolutely. That's different. Yes. This is it. That is a, that yeah. is awesome. I'm not even sure how far you'd have to go to find an ice skating rink. Here. <laughs> oh, I know. I mean, what, Nashville maybe. And, probably. I don't yeah. even think there's one in Murphy. I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't want to. I don't want to slide a business that we don't even know about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's great. Now it's going to be it says here on the. The east end of west. We got two directions here. So the east end of west, Mason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So actually, so, it's not. It's going to be on the oh, north side. Yeah, the north oh, they side. That, it. That's a revision that just happened oh, okay. because of uh, it being level up there. It'll be on the north side. Oh, that would be important. Kind of, yes, kind of uh, right <laughs> next to. You could to, have like a little um, slip and slide. Yeah, <laughs> the cab floors. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. The cab floor is yeah, near that. I'll okay. update that. So on the square? Is yes, this on the square. On the square, right on, on the square. north end, yeah. right around the cab floor. And right. it's actually an ice-like product. It's slick. You wear ice skates. Yeah. But it's yeah. not real ice. No, no. no. It's, a, yeah. it's a manufactured product, but it uh, works just like yeah. ice. Just apparently. like ice. Yeah. Uh, they did this uh, similar. There's a place in Murfreesboro. They, they've done this a couple of times in a courtyard. Yeah. It's really yeah. cool when they do it. It's very nice. Yeah, we're trying to keep up with Murphy's Barrel. Yeah, we, uh, we're ahead of that. We have a button willow. I mean, we do. So, oh, we're both. Yeah, yeah. I'd put that above any uh, right. coffee shop That's anywhere. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what does it cost us? So, although there's not going to be an admission fee, we're oh. asking for uh, donations. Uh, and what's going to happen, we're trying to benefit the uh, DeKalb County Rescue Squad. Oh, uh, nice. we've, we've been really trying to work with them for quite some time to create an event to benefit them. Um, they they need funding and they're they're so good to right. go on all the calls and they a lot of times take money out of their own pockets to do it which is unbelievable they're just a great bunch of guys but we're we're trying to do something to help them out so they have agreed to man the ice skating rink uh, for both days and all they're asking for is donations to to help benefit them so. now talk about taking many other pockets this is sponsored by the the downtown businesses yeah. right yeah. several of them i don't know if it's all or, or several but you know and and this thing is not cheap to bring in i right. gotta say so we appreciate all the businesses that are that are putting in to do this because it takes a whole lot of money to run these events right and and it's um it's really something that a lot of people can get involved in if they'd like to i mean if we want to see these kind of events take place in the future which i think it's going to be something just really awesome and yeah. unique, you know, something to take your Valentine to. And, uh, you know, that's something I always struggle with. What do you get your wife for <laughs> Valentine's Day? You know, it's like. Do you go shopping in your own store? Yeah. yeah. But you can flowers, literally you know? walk to the flower shop, yeah. walk yeah. on over to the ice skating yeah. ring, and then yeah. go get you some coffee oh, to top yeah. it off. I mean, and then. That's it, a perfect date now. Yeah. yeah. And we just had the, the meal at Cheryl's. Yeah. Bows, got the, bows, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Cheryl's Bow we got the whole, meal. the whole meal. You yeah. know, just stay in town, shop local. You're oh, right, right. I, I normally get Ange a uh, gift certificate to Button Willow for Valentine's Day. <laughs> she, she does not find that humorous anymore, so I've got yeah. to come up with something. There you go. Now. Yeah. There you go. Well, it's so, nice yeah. that you have the, uh, the the guys from the rescue squad there. So if somebody falls, you got immediate help oh, yeah, right, ready to right. go. 
<laughs> we're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Two for the price of one right there. <laughs> right, right. But uh, so, yeah, they're, they've are they agreed to help us out with that. And so we, as a community, we want to, you know, be there and support them. And uh, also, if anybody is interested in having their name mentioned as a sponsor during the event, uh, if they would just see uh, Tony Luna to make a donation of any size, uh, that way we can, you know, get you on as a sponsor. Every Sounds little great. bit helps. Sounds yes, great. Absolutely. Well, you know, one of my biggest calls I'm getting now at the chamber is about the late night Thursdays. Yeah. And they're saying, now, how late is it? Which Thursday is it? And so uh, I got, I think, three calls yesterday. So isn't that great? Yeah. And it's usually I start getting the calls the week of, you know, that mm -hmm. that first week of the month. So so tell us a little bit about that. So it's the third Thursday of every month, and uh, it's just a way for us to allow people that normally work till five and they can't get downtown mm -hmm. to the shop and, the, and the, see the local businesses. Right. Uh, we stay open a little bit later so that, uh, you know, they have an opportunity to come and check everything out. So till 7 p.m. on Thursday night. Right. Um, so every third Thursday. Yeah, every third Thursday. Yep. Okay. It was really great. A lot of great stores uh, down there. You know, open during the day, but they're also some some open on the weekend. But sometimes, you know, you know, you get off at five or six o'clock. By the time you get home, there's just you know you don't have time to get down there and, and help out and support those businesses. So this is awesome. And the town's really growing right now. Mm -hmm. We we've got more businesses that are coming in the near future that yeah. uh, that maybe a lot of people don't know about yet. But uh, it's only going to grow from this point. Oh, out. that's yeah. fantastic. And I'm going to be applying for another grant come May. Yay! So hopefully <laughs> we've got our fingers crossed and saying lots of prayers. Oh, that's up to you, brother. Yeah, just put extra one in there for us. So we're we're excited and hoping that'll come to fruition. But that'll I think make a huge difference and, yeah. and I mean there's already oh my goodness what can we say what it's come to in 10 oh, years I know isn't it something it's it's really coming back to life downtown isn't it? It well is. I, I went back and looked at my my first grant I wrote like 11 years ago and I put they said what's your wish list and I put I thought don't put this because they will laugh at you and I put if we had a downtown coffee shop Oh, that really? was on my list, my wish, my dream list. If you're dreaming wow. crazy, and so who knew? There you go. That God was bringing y'all to Smithfield. It's one of the best things ever happened. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> we we really appreciate the opportunity to be there and to have it, and uh, we really appreciate all of our people that you know our customers and come and participate. And, well, you've got a faithful customer base for sure. We do. You do. Yeah. sure do. One last thing that okay. I should say about the ice skating event is everything to skate will be provided. So oh. you don't have to worry about getting in that old trunk and, you know, <laughs> blowing off the dust and trying to find your ice skates. If you're from the north and you brought them with you, yes. then the people who live here probably don't even know what an ice skate is. No, so, not yeah, at all. They, they're yeah. going to provide all that there. Yeah. So don't worry. Okay, so everything will be provided. Sounds like a fun uh, Ask a Date to Skate event for. Uh, and mention those dates one more time. It's going to be uh, Friday the 11th, <laughs> Friday, February 11th, from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., and Saturday day on the 12th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay. Oh, we're looking forward to it. Thanks, oh, Joe. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Okay, look who just pulled there in here. There we go, right, on this uh, wonderful <laughs> Groundhog's Day. That's I right. Oh, That's what, did he is. see his shadow or not? If he was it, if, Anything around here seen any shadow today? <laughs> yes, yeah. But we'll we just, don't. But we don't know about them northern groundhogs. Oh yeah, that's we, true. That's the one we listen to. Oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why we don't have our own. <laughs> we'll take spring early we do. if we want it. So Maybe the chamber it. could invest in a groundhog. <laughs> yeah. Y'all take care of it down at Acre. We, yeah, we, we'll do, we'll find something as long as Tony Cross gives us a permit. <laughs> yeah. You know, we'll have to get the T W A permits and everything. Yeah, got to get all know. our permits and then yeah, we'll let y'all. Yeah, then we'll be. I like that. What do you think, Brother Chad? Well, you know, I always wonder, does that poor groundhog just live in that box the whole year? I'd that say that day? groundhog probably lives pretty... Pretty good. Pretty. He, yeah, I'd say he's about like Smokey, you yeah. know, all these, Was these it big Phil? football Punks, Punks, yeah, Punks, 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 Punks to Tony Phil. Punks yeah. to Tony Phil, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just remember Bill Murray and Groundhog. Oh, that is the best movie. I love that movie. Yes. Yes. Okay. What's going on at the park? We've got big things going on. Oh, they got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff going on, and we've just finished... Uh, we had 10 units uh, last year that got updated, the bath the bathrooms and the cabins, and then this, starting in December, we did 10 more cabin units. So, we so don't we need to do a community improvement award? Uh, that'd be great. Well, let's, that, you, you want to go over there for that one. It's <laughs> there so pretty we go. over there. Yeah. It's pretty. So it's got, pretty over there. We still have about uh, 16 units that's left to, to complete, but the state's planning on doing that, doing a 
10 or so yeah. every year. And that park is so much bigger than people think it is. You know, oh, yeah. so many people yeah. slide down to the marina and there, but it's, it just keeps going exactly. and going and people, going. A lot of people, when they come in, they stop at the office, climb the tower, and maybe mm -hmm. go to the marina, and that's yeah. as far as they go. Right. Uh, you know, we we have the beautiful Interp Center all the way back near the near the cabin area where our storybook trail is. Mm -hmm. Also, where the Evans Drill Trail, Evans Ridge Trail is. Also, we've got one of the most beautiful trail. We got a trail out at the office, the uh, Highland Rim Nature Trail, and then we've got two of the nicest trails you'll ever. And we have people hike this this trail that prepare themselves for the AT, uh, just because of the elevation change. I right. mean, it's not nothing in length probably total length is close to eight miles it's the merritt ridge and millennium mm -hmm. trail systems but if you do the total um, if you do both of those trails in unison you're looking at about an eight mile high wow. but with the elevation change you're yeah. getting some good hills and we get people that come out and jog that or hike that in the spring and fall just to prepare them yeah. on a leg for the at we went to uh <clears throat> leconte and mm -hmm. went up leconte last year and, and that's Half of our team was saying <laughs> we should have done some more trail trail hey, prep come over on here. Out. Hey, come on out. <laughs> yeah, we got the hillsides, and I mean, and this time of year is spectacular for hiking, especially around the lake because you've got the views. The leaves mm -hmm. are off the trees. You've got yeah. so much, so much better view. You know, a view. I always say, I, I, the, the the women laugh at me because I always tell them, you know, spring and fall is like a. I look at nature like a woman with her makeup on. You know, got, <laughs> you know, we've got the pretty spring colors in the, in the fall. We've got the spring flowers in the, in the fall. we got the, the fall colors in the spring, the spring flowers. But in wintertime, it's just natural. Mm. And, you know, all the leaves are off. There's nothing, you know, right. everything's kind of not dead looking. But, I mean, to, to me, that's just a, at nighttime, you can see so far. It's pretty. Especially around the lake, it's so clear. And in the daytime around those ridges, I mean, you can see for you can see for miles. Yeah, it's so nice. To see, like you see the water, and you have the moon, and then the lighting mm -hmm. hit it's, off it's, of it. It's, and the sun, yeah. it's gorgeous. It and is. So there's a lot of happening at the park. Um, you know, we got the, the weed wrangle coming up on March 5th. Uh, what that is is to remove kind of non-invasive plants, um, not privet, and uh, there, oh, there's another one, the, the non-native honeysuckle. Uh, but a lot of that stuff takes over when it's an invasive it comes in you know it looks might be pretty over here maybe have serve a purpose as a hedge but in the park it competes with the native right. the native wildlife or native plants so we have a we have a little area that we're looking at removing that uh, spring hikes in March 19th uh, coming up the months of February we've got some you know Valentine's Day there's not a better place to come spend the weekend with you honey oh it's, their wife yeah. or, it'd be or, romantic yes yeah. yeah. there at the park we've got you know we're going to have a little special surprise if you book uh a room or a cabin you know it will it will have a little special surprise for you there when you when you come a in. bear uh, yeah, <laughs> a, a raccoon surprise. in the room yeah right 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 <laughs> but uh that on february 12th we're going to have valentine's campfire brunch with the ranger and I believe that's Ranger Vaughn is going to be doing some campfire cooking. That's great. Again, on the 12th is uh, you smoke and rock. So uh, I think one of the one of the uh, maybe Miss Williams is doing the uh, s'mores and rock painting. Mm -hmm. And then on the 13th is Valentine's apple cobbler with the Ranger. So uh, Justin is going to be doing a Dutch oven cooking demonstration. And so we're going to be cooking apple cobbler. And who don't like apple cobbler? Ah, good stuff. You come come down to the park and you come and enjoy that and then on february 19th um this has been a class that has been a huge success it's just an essential to survival and and it's you know and we're not going to go out here and do like bear grills and stuff but it's it's a class that kind of teaches you how you could make it through like if you did get injured on a trail if you were hiking the at mm -hmm. and you had to stay a night or two out there uh, something to think about right uh, you know if and that's something that we all as we go out and do do hikes whether we're hiking a mile whether we're hiking 10 miles uh, even going to the store in your car you know people need to be preparing themselves for if what if I break down in the middle of winter out right here? so this class is something it, it, it's not just for survival in the wilderness it can be 
even things you could use at home. And, and we do have a little, we prepare a little pack of some essential things, you know, to help you start a fire. You know, when you're, when you're in an emergency situation, you know, food, water, and shelter is a, is a main thing. Yeah. But in this time of year, being dry and having warmth, and so we show you ways of doing that, starting a fire, having like flint and steel, or, you know, I don't care if people cheat and put matches in a little, you know, cotton. Just, just a way of, of having things to, to just survive. In case you need yeah. it. Right. I laughed. My father, when I got old enough to drive, he got me this little, it was a little dollar store uh, kit. Or not a kit. He made it. It was just like a Sterilite little case. And in it, he had a couple of glow sticks, some matches, <laughs> and one of the mercy blankets, some gloves. Yeah. And, um, uh, there was like a couple of granola bars in there and everything and the idea was you're supposed to check it and change yeah. it out well yeah. i forgot about mine and i you know stuck it down there where my spare tire goes and had one of them shake flashlights i don't know if you remember when yes. those things were big you don't even have yep. to have batteries you, you just shake, shake it, it. Yeah. and i found that thing and it'd been in my car probably in my <laughs> wife's car probably for 15 years and that flashlight still works oh my goodness. to this day so i had to call him and, and so I'm, the granola bar became blue yeah cheese. the gr granola, <laughs> granola it's still you know it was like McDonald's French fries, you know, it was still there, but I'm like, you know what? Yeah. yeah, maybe replace that with an MMR or something. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, you but, know, nowadays we've seen where people get stuck on the interstate for, you know, be. maybe a day or so. Exactly. And yeah. we need to have those emergency packs. It's, it's, always, it's always handy, you know, especially this time of year, throw you a, a blanket, yeah. some extra clothes. Couple of granola bars. <laughs> some water, some b bottles of water in uh, yeah. there, gr granola bars, trail mix, just something, something if you had to spend the night in your car that you wouldn't be, you know, because it, it gets cold in your car. Yeah. And if yeah. you don't have, you can't, and it's, it can be dangerous leaving it running overnight. So, you know, that's something to think about. Uh, just, just, and this try, that's what this class tries to do is make you aware of not just you know, it's, it's geared around outdoor survival yeah. but it's something you can take away and and apply apply to life and, 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 and i think we get so caught up in like or we'll always have our phone or we'll always be able to call someone well sometimes exactly. you're going to be places where so, cell phone stuff is, not is not there or or they can't get to you you know and so i think i was a couple last month where we had the winter storm that mm -hmm. where people all of a sudden there was no snow and then mm -hmm. it just hit us so hard well it so, was yes. a real eye opening yeah. you know back in march of uh 19 you know when the tornadoes hit our yeah. families and friends up in putnam county mm -hmm. uh you know like i said no cell towers no stuff you know and everybody even being right in the middle of town it was i you know i'm from that area and driving through there and it's seeing it just pitch dark mm -hmm. and everything you know so it that I got my master's degree through Tennessee Tech, and that's what I did my thesis on was being prepared. Yeah. You know, not saying you have to have a stockpile of stuff for a zombie apocalypse, but having right. having extra water, extra food right. for in case something happens. For a, I try to tell people something for at least seven to ten days. Yeah. Where you can, you know, hey, I've got. So when I go to Sam, it's not that I'm hoarding. I I have to get a pack. There's easy ways to do it you know get some stock up but then as you go every time you go to sam's club you're buying water that you're going to drink now mm -hmm. but buy one to stick in, right. your, in your closet mm -hmm. and, so if and, there is a zombie apocalypse we're supposed to come yeah, to your come, house come there yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we know where to go we know where exactly. to go exactly so it just helps you think yeah. in that mindset and then the month of march you know like i said the weed wrangle contest and then be checking our website ranger chadwell is going to be having some fly tying classes he hadn't had them on yet i talked to him on the way over he is going to be adding some fly tying classes in in February, uh, and some some casting classes for fly fishing. You know, that's a good world. stress reliever. I'm assuming mm -hmm. after yeah. you learn it anyway. Oh yeah, yeah it's and, and I know people, I know people that don't even fish that enjoy tying flies. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's a nice you know, I look at fly fishing like golf. It's real fancy. You know, I, I enjoy doing it. and It's just real pretty. Yeah. But. When I get out there and I get frustrated, I end up <laughs> taking my Zepco and, and yeah. fishing. You know, so it's but it's it is very. It's if you could learn the art form, it's it's awesome. It's yeah. awesome. It's tough. Well, that get it. That get all of the I think so. recent stuff. I, I think know. So. Uh, we got some things in March. The Friends Group Waterfall Tour, yeah. but also like I said, if our all oh, our contests. Um, the month of January was the was the voting contest throughout the state of Tennessee. 
Um, they divided it up this year in three different categories and it was three different sections like parks. For state parks. For state parks, uh -huh. doing different uh, based on visitation. We finished, I think, uh, 13th amongst the, the 20 something parks in our category. We brought, thank you all who all donated. We appreciate every bit of it. We, we brought in almost $700 in the month for, for donations. Um, Does that money get to stay with the park? That money or? stays in the park and being that I had it divided up kind of what we would spend if we raised a thousand dollars. So we're still going to go for the signage for our butterfly corridors. Um, if you notice, as you probably won't notice it much now, but this as it drives through the park in the spring, some of the steep hillsides we've we planted in native wildflowers and native warm season grasses. So some of this stuff should start coming through. Uh, we're going to be putting up signage as to what we're doing okay. and why. And yeah. a lot of that too is to the banks are so steep, it's going to help with erosion, help us reduce our carbon footprint by not having to mow as much. And that's safety because these banks are steep. Mm -hmm. You know, it's these guys. I mean, the guys did an awesome job. It looked beautiful, and you know, they kept it. They kept the grounds looking great, but right. also it's nerves yes you know some yes. of those banks when you're mowing them in there yeah. yeah some up so and, and weed eating so it took a lot mm -hmm. of upkeep so we're hoping it's going to cut down on their labor as well to free right. them up to do other things in the park so that'd be great that's what we're looking to purchase with with what it is and the park's mm -hmm. going to make up the difference so i think i think we estimated the signs cost about a thousand dollars so yeah. if so you want to help you can donate to the yeah. park at any time that was just a contest that was going on vote for your favorite park you can vote you can donate we got a on our website you, we've got a link and then at the park we've got QR codes that you scan and you can donate it right there or like I said we've got the friends group is an awesome way to the friends if you want to volunteer we need volunteers for everything you know the trail work uh, the the uh, history hayride that we're, we're hopefully going to try to be putting on this year um, so there's always the friend our friends are awesome we've got an awesome friends group it's just you know, with COVID restrictions, COVID things going out, going on, and and hitting everything, we've kind of been kind of slow getting things back up and running. So, bear with us there. But we've got a, we do have an awesome friends group, and that's a way you can give back. You, you know, you don't have to you don't have to donate anything but your time. And Sounds great. We, we like that as well. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Brad. Appreciate all Thank you. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you. Part. <clears throat> well, Brother Chad, yes. we got a lot going on. Yes, we We're about do. to come up with the Appalachian Center for Craft. So this year they're going to be doing things a little bit different. Yes. Uh, the Appalachian Center for Craft in-person and virtual workshops this year. So they're going to be held February 19th, March 5th, and March 12th. And they, of course, offer hands-on workshops for any skill level, from right. you know, beginner to professional. Uh, they have classes in blacksmithing, clay, fibers, glass, metals, and wood, but you can register online. So just go to their website for details. Just yes. type in Appalachian Center for Craft or Center for Craft, it'll pop up. Right. And go right there. And then this year also, you see where we're gonna have a virtual celebration. Yeah, it looks like a April 10th uh, mm -hmm. from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's gonna be a free event. So mm -hmm. uh, get your whole family to get out there. It's gonna be a time for a celebration where you can come and have a, a virtual and also a free hands-on craft experience so for kids. So I think what you do, yeah. you go out there and you pick up your craft kit. I think right. that's packaged. That's what we did last year. And then you'll have, you'll be able to go online and they will teach you how to do ah. what they have given you. That's what So you I do think. it on this day though, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so you go on April 10th. This is when yeah. it is, this mm -hmm. virtual going. So go pick it up then. You'll mm -hmm. have a craft demonstrations. It's going to be on Facebook and streamed right there. Uh, then they'll take all the, have a gallery sale of, of all the stuff, it um, yeah. looks like. Um, and I'll, this is nice. Um, I, this is right up my wife's alley. Oh, yeah. uh, there's a sale, 25% yeah. uh, discount on all the handmade items in the gallery if you're there in person from 10 a.m. Uh, to 5 p.m. And there'll be an online uh, on Saturday and that Sunday uh -huh. too. So a lot of stuff there. You can check out all, all information, like we said, uh, for the in-person craft workshop or the virtual stuff. All that's going to be on their website. You also can go on their, uh, on Facebook and check that out too. But the phone number, if you just want to call them and find out uh, and talk to an actual person, you can call 597-6801 or 931-3. 372-3051. So there's a lot of information there uh, for you to get plugged in to helping out with some crafts and having some fun. Well, you know, I thought it may be a good idea to give an, uh, maybe a good Valentine gift idea. Yeah. So if you're looking for a great gift idea for your Valentine, Canoe the Caney's 2022 
season pass is on sale now. That's the gift that didn't just give for the one day. No, and it's a a big long season. Yes, and yeah. I, every time you drive by there, that place is packed it and, is and packed. packed. So you know it's good. You know it's good. So it's one of those things that you can get plugged in. Uh, Billy, Billy and them do a fantastic job up there. Um, you know, sh showing people the, the beauty of this area oh, by being yeah. able to do that. And they have several trips. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's on the river, sometimes on the lake. So um, got some variety, too. So you can oh. do a lot of fun things there. So, yeah. Everybody loves it, the goes. And, you know, it's the gift that keeps creating amazing memories. Yes, as I like yes, to say. yes. So just check out the Canoe the Caney Facebook page or go to their website for all the information. And I think it's uh, maybe on sale still right now. I said that, right? Yeah. It's on sale. Yeah. So this is the time to get this it. Is, this is it. This, this is, is it. Go get it. So. And then I just want to mention that if you love live music, uh, just check out Facebook page with the Burlap Room, and you'll be able to see all that's going on down there with Burt Driver. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we also got some things for you to put on your calendar. So if you haven't already got your pen and marked all these things down or yeah. got your phone out, this is the time to do that. Yeah. So. Uh, first of all, we have the DCHS uh, Project Graduation Car, Truck, and Bike Show. I did this last year. It oh. was it was awesome. We took our whole family out there. Uh, they had the whole high, uh, the middle school lot filled with cars. You parked in the high school lot. What a it's impressive. It was very impressive, yeah. and it was a lot to see the you know the old timey cars out there. Some you know some cars were. Uh, weren't as old timey, but they were nice. Uh, you had stuff. They were 50, almost 60. as old as me, Brother <laughs> Chad. <laughs> you know, no, that was some as old as me. I was like, that's that. I remember that car. So, but yes, you can go out there have a great time. All the proceeds go to. Uh, help out the high school graduates um, uh, and I, like we've said every year especially the last couple of years you know these kids have gone through so much these last yeah. couple of years so what an amazing opportunity for you to get out there and to help them and support them uh, there uh, be food food trucks and stuff like that I'm sure like last year and last year they had a crash time inside so I have a feeling there's gonna be quite a many things going on there so I hope What's you come out for that that day is April 2nd starts at 8 a.m. And the awards will be given at, at 3 p.m. So uh, we'll hope you get out there. If you are interested in getting more information about it, like to uh, maybe bring a booth or do some other things like that, uh, you need to call, uh, contact Veronica. Um, uh, that, and her email address is vatnip, V-A-T-N-I-P, 1973 at iCloud.com. So you can get a hold of her and get some more information about that. So, But that's not the only car truck show is there. We There's another two. one. So yeah. um, we have the other one on April 16th. This is going to be uh, a couple weeks later uh, at the DeKalb County Complex from 8, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. as well. Uh, you can get uh, with... But it's in conjunction with the Women's Aid. Expo. Yes, it is. The Women's Expo uh, is be putting this on. Uh, you can go on Facebook and contact Angie Meadows uh, at the Smith Review to get more information about that. Uh, so two What's great events. That? April 16th is the Women's and April 2nd is Project Graduation. Oh so my there goodness. You go. So in April you've got two cars. That's right. Truck you, and bike show. You can either do both, which you should, or, yeah. do, or do the one you can. So there you well, go. Well, I tell you, the year I put, well, I put on a car show several years. And I had women call in saying, oh, that's the best thing the Chamber ever did. So I tell you, folks around here love their car yeah. shows. So we got two coming up. That's right. That's right. So jump on one of those and have a good time with them. So, yeah. Now, I'm working uh, quickly. I'll just mention that I'm working a little bit with the American Red Cross to try to recruit some local volunteers. And the, they're really needing uh, a lot of volunteers right now. And the they're called Disaster Action Team Volunteers. So if you're interested in being a DAT mm -hmm. volunteer. Training will be provided. This is normally like if somebody has a house fire mm -hmm. or there's some sort of emergency in, of any sort, you know, you can get a call at any time. Right. But if you would love to do something that is so worthwhile, and I know it always makes me feel better to be the giver than even the receiver. You it know? does. It does. You know, you know, <clears throat> I, if you want to hear a sermon on that, you can come by and I'll give you one. <laughs> we'll so. do a Facebook Live. <laughs> And then if, you want, if you're if you interested, just go to their website, web, uh, redcross.org slash volunteer, and you can sign up right there. So yeah. I think that takes care of everything today. We've covered yeah. uh, everything I meant to. Uh, if you want us to promote your news or a special events, give us a call at the chamber, 615-597-4163, or email me at the world's longest email, williams at dekalbcountychamber.org. Or you can tag me on Facebook, and I hope you spread the word. Glad to do it. 
Well, I'm so grateful this morning, yes. Brother Chad, to our guest and to WGLE Radio and DTC TV for sponsoring our Chamber Chat. And... And you can watch the chat on DTC3 as well as their website. Just go to dc3.tv and click on Chamber Shows to go to the program uh, each month. Yeah, you can see it over and over. over you can watch us <laughs> all month long. Well, we appreciate our listening and viewing audiences and hope you uh, join us again next month, the same chat time. And the same chat channel. Happy February, everybody, and wishing everybody a wonderful Valentine's Day. Have a great day.